Hello. In today's video, we are going to try Hierarchy Slicer, which was an update released by Microsoft a few months back. This is more powerful than the previous one. Let's go to PBI and explore various options under the new slicer. So here is the PBI file and I have the slicer here. And if you notice here, we have the expand and the collapse option. Now let's try to explore what are the other options available with the new slicer. Let me delete this for now. And add a new slicer here. So this is a new slicer. So I have a table here, it's called DimGeo. And I'm gonna add uh, three fields from this table. The first one is region. Let me drag and drop it here. And the second one I want is the subregion and the country. So I have three fields here. And if you notice here, now I have the expand and collapse button. So now to do some cosmetic changes, I will go to the format section here and slicer header, it's turned on. And let's see what are the options we have here. So you have the option to insert the title text and also it has the option to use a function to dynamically change your uh, titles, okay? So let's try this one. And also we have the font color. So let me change the font color to the white and maybe the background color or uh, the blue one. And so I can increase the text size. So let me make this 15. And also I can change the font family. So for now I'll leave as it is. And title text, if you notice here, I have uh, the fixed text here, but I can add a function. So what I have done here is I created a measure called as header. What it does is, is count, it counts the distinct region and the distinct count of a country available in this uh, table. So I'll add this measure into this function here. Click on this function. So it opens up a new window format by field value. So this is the only option that's available. So based on field, I will use my measure that's a header and click OK. So now if you notice here, let me increase the size of this slicer. So region count, that's three. We have America's APJ EMEA and the country count 124. So I have distinct uh, 124 country in this table, okay? So this is how we can use uh, a function to decide what is the title. And then if I collapse this one and go to the next one, we have uh, some more features here under the items. I can change the font color. So let me change this to something else. And the background I'll keep as it is. And also we have the option to increase the text size of these items. So now if you notice here, uh, this little box is here, right? So when I increase the text size, the box size also increases. So this feature was not available in the previous release, okay, in the world version. But I think Microsoft uh, has done a good update by increasing the box size as well, so that it's in line with the text size. And I can also change the font family. And you have something called step layout indentation here. So what it means is if I increase this, uh, observe the space. So the space, let me make it as 30. And if I increase this one, you notice the gap, right? If I decrease this, there is a much lesser gap. So I think uh, this will help you to make best use of the space available when you have too many slicer in your report. So we can use this feature. And then again, you notice here the expand and collapse icon. So we can change the icon type. So we have three options here. If I select plus and minus, you notice the icon changes here. Okay. And again, I have something called carrot. So the icon shape change. And then if I collapse this items, and also I have an option to add a title here so I can turn it on and off. And also you have a flexibility to add a function here.
okay for now i'll turn it off and also some background uh, colors so again you have uh, the flexibility to dynamically change the colors with the help of a function that's really cool feature right and then uh, some of the features are still has it is so nothing much changed in this feature so i very much like this feature because uh, it will help us to save uh, space especially when we have to place multiple slicer by using this hierarchy hierarchy slicer i think we can save a lot of space prior to this at least if i wanted to place these three slicer it would have consumed a lot of space but by bringing this into one slicer i think uh, we can make best use of the available space i hope this video was helpful and if you like this please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends or colleagues okay and thanks for watching have a great day